Emigrating to Qatar is a vice in a lifetime opportunity. The country is one of the richest countries in the world and an appealing location for international teachers due to the opportunities and grades of jobs available. Hi, this is Max from the Visa Library. In this video, I will tell you how to immigrate to Qatar as a teacher, the requirements, salaries, and so much more. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, no time is burdened right now. Do it so you can stay updated on visas and get a free cheat sheet for this visa. We publish three new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe. Let's go. What teaching jobs are available in Qatar? Number one, language schools. There is a high demand for language teachers since many Qatari adults want to improve their language skills. Immigrant English teachers will require a degree and a TEFL certification. However, you may still find work without a degree, but the possibilities are generally no less secure and those jobs pay less. Number two, private international schools. International schools are always looking for teachers with bachelor's degrees in disciplines other than English. To mention a few, native English speakers may be asked to teach Arthemic, uh, science, and even geometry. Interestingly, students study in both English and Arabic. Number three, tutoring. Tutoring is a fantastic way to add your salary after school or on weekends and you may earn between 100 and up to 350 Qatari reals per hour. Okay, here's a question. What is the Qatar Kafala system? The Kafala system in Qatar binds workers to their employers, limiting their freedom of mobility. When you arrive in the nation, you must submit your passport to your employer, which will be returned if you are granted an exit visa to go overseas. It also implies that an employer, a family member, or an organization must sponsor anyone working in the nation. To leave the country, you must receive permission to depart or an exit visa. However, the institution you work for should be fine uh, presenting you with an exit visa. If you have an interview with a Qatari school, find out what kind of method they use in this regard. The good news is that the kafala system is decided to be eliminated due to external pressure and Qatar's aim to create a more modern view of itself. All right, next question. What are the requirements and required documents for teachers? You need to have a bachelor's degree, preferably four-year teaching degree or an undergraduate degree with a PGCE. Next, you must be at least 18 and no older than 50, at least two years of effective teaching experience, and English language schools will demand a bachelor's degree and a TEFL or TESOL certification, preferably with experience. You also need to complete document legalization and authentication, check your uh, criminal record in your home country. In Qatar, a medical examination will be conducted. Next, you need long-term contracts, uh, something between one to three years. And finally, Comprehensive qualifications are required to teach in Qatar, particularly if you plan to work in an international or private school. Let me tell you more about international schools. International schools require a qualifying teaching certificate for primary or secondary schools. They need a police clearance from your country showing good general health by passing a medical exam in Qatar and obtaining a work visa or permit and residence. Another one, teaching experience. 
of two or more years. Now, some institutions prefer five years or more. What else? Uh, you need a signed contract to teach for one to three years. A BSc, BA, BEV undergraduates, PGDE or PGCE teaching qualification and degree in the topic you will be teaching. How much money can you earn teaching in Qatar? The money talks. <laughs> the average teacher pay in Qatar is 9,500 QAR per month, with salaries ranging from 9,000, sorry, 500 QAR to 25,500 QAR, depending on the sector, employment location, and applicant profile. Here's a list of teachers' salaries for different subjects. Good news, your income is completely tax-free. One more thing, salary packages for international school teaching employment as a classroom instructor range from 9,500 to 17,000 QAR tax-free per month. Okay. What are the working conditions of an immigrant teacher in Qatar? On average, you should work 20 to 30 hours weekly in classes plus extra preparation time. Teaching assistants will frequently assist you in the classroom by handling administrative responsibilities. If your Arabic isn't great, you could also hire a translator. The end of the week in Qatar is Friday. Therefore, your additional day off will be either Thursday or Saturday. During Ramadan, the working day is limited to six hours. This one should technically apply to anyone who works at the school, but uh, it only be provided for Muslim employees. Students are empowered to be creative and many of them are extremely hardworking. While you will most likely be teaching students from various Arabic nations, Australia or United States, students come from anywhere in the world. It is critical to connect with each and every one of your students on a professional and personal level. Show an interest in them and keep them feel comfortable in your classroom. This is even more essential than punctuality. How can you find a job, a teaching job in Qatar? Go to these websites right here. What are the benefits of immigrating to Qatar as a teacher aside from obvious financial benefits? There are also extensive training and growth opportunities foreign or private schools provide for you. The school schedule allows teachers to have a good work-life balance. As I mentioned, your income is tax-free and you may have free housing. Other benefits might include a free return flight to your home country, paid housing and utilities, or an allowance, first month upfront payment for settling, health insurance coverage, but not all the schools, and one or more of your children will receive a free school place. Let me ask you another question. How is the visa application process to immigrate to Qatar as a teacher? You must first request a work residence permit or RP. It must be valid by the school where you will be working. The school may offer to complete all necessary paperwork on your behalf to make things easier. In this situation, the employer should apply for a temporary visa that can later be converted to an RP. This normally takes four weeks to complete, so prepare while applying for employment. You should stay in the nation while your temporary visa is converted to a permanent one. Then, if you have an RP and family members eager to join you, they will be allowed to go to Qatar to settle in. You can also apply from home before flying 
which may take months. If you want to learn more about getting Qatar work visas, watch our video about it. Link is in the description. Can immigrant teachers bring their family members to Qatar? Every family member, including babies, will require their own family residence visa. As a result, teachers will be able to sponsor their entire families. After staying in Qatar for at least 12 months, your residence permit may need to be renewed, which the, uh, you know, the school may handle it on your behalf. The visa is valid for one to five years and it must be renewed to remain in Qatar lawfully. How can teachers get insurance? Any idea? Let's see. There is no national social security program in Qatar. Sorry. So. The institution you work for may provide a contribution-based life insurance system. Private insurance plans can provide coverage for unemployment and disability benefits, while private pension plans can give contributions toward retirement. How can teachers get healthcare? Really important one. The healthcare card costs uh, roughly 100 QR, around 22 pounds uh, as of uh, April 2020 and provides access to Qatar's 12 public hospitals and 27 regional centers. This will provide you with a discounted pricing for the necessary therapy. Also, private healthcare is another alternative for foreigners. Okay, let's talk about banking. Here, are some of the well-known banks in Qatar. If you're offered a position from a school in Qatar, ask if they will open a bank account for you and learn about the organizations to verify if they provide the perks you require. What is the dress code for teachers in Qatar? Female teachers must ensure their shoulders and knees are covered and avoid wearing anything too tight. Men are limited to putting on a shirt, tie, and pants daily. Only some schools let male teachers wear short-sleeved t-shirts. So check before packing your luggage full of those short-sleeved t-shirts. Also, tattoos on arms must be covered. Therefore, you may be forced to wear shirts with long sleeves all year. Finally, bring light clothes. Linen and cotton are wonderful fabrics since they are airy. Well, there you go. Now you can start your application and immigrate to Qatar as a teacher. I put a cheat sheet on our website. Go ahead and download it. Link is in the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. It will help YouTube's algorithm. You can also follow our social media accounts. If you have any type of visit that you want to know about, write the name in the comment section and we will make a video for it. Thank you all for watching.